gender identity, sexual identity, all identities within the spectrum can change, and that is perfectly beautiful. I really had my experience and knew this feels good. It not just feels good, it aligns. I am free. I am flowing through my day to day and I feel this vibration, this energy that I haven't felt before. That's when I was like, yes, I am definitely, definitely queer. That we all are like one way. That all of us look the same. That, that non-binary is just one term. And within it, it's a beautiful non-ending being, state of being. And uh, so, yeah, that's the misconception that you can just put one label on it. <laughs> There is so much I would say to my younger self. I would just say, hey, younger self. Hey, younger said, formerly known as another name in the past. I want to commend you on everything that you have gone through and know that everything is for a reason. Write it down <laughs> and know that your intuition and what you feel about things are spot on. Just keep going and keep loving everybody around you. My biggest ally I would say Roland Valencia. Roland has been the just such a rock at any time uh, within the LGBTQ community. He has been an ally to so many LGBTQIA people, Latinx specifically, and that's a beautiful thing because we need our elders and we need our community. And so I would say that him and my LGBTQ community have been my biggest allies. Um, well, I had no other choice to share this with the fans and the world about who I am. It became part of the only thing I could do to be, be able to express my artistry, to express my expression to be creative was to create my own characters because I wasn't given the opportunities to actually be cast or actually tell the stories that I needed to. And when you talk about work and employment, it's utterly important to hire LGBTQ folks, people that do not pass, those that are that are within the binaries, uh, without the binaries. Uh, it's important to to sh to really to really close the gap of the three to four times the rate of employment that non-binary transgender people experience in employment uh, and twice that of the national average. And so, um, because I had no other choice but to produce my own work. And that was the story that I needed to tell. I was tired of being silenced, tired of being invisible. And it was my time to, to tell a story in my terms and being mindful of others as well. Hello, hello, ustedes ya saben que acá en Latinx Now siempre les tenemos lo que tienen que saber, lo que no tienen que saber, de todo un poquito. Así es, y también es el mes del orgullo, the Pride Month, so show us love, subscribe. Yeah, and if you just want to be cool, yeah. subscribe. Yeah. Así es fácil, quieren ser cool, suscríbanse. Press that button. <laughs> Yay! I'm cool. Oh, look at that. Didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs>